Now that I've described in general terms the design process that leads to a great speaker, let me help you understand what to listen for so that you can evaluate what's the best speaker for you. Obviously, we're hoping that it's an SVS speaker, but it may not be because speakers really are a matter of personal preference and the weighting that you give to different uh, listening characteristics that the speaker has. I would tell you the first thing to listen for, and maybe even the easiest and most objective thing to listen for, is clarity and detail. And what I mean by that is, is everything in the content being rendered faithfully by the speaker? How do you figure that out? Well, first of all, I would recommend that you use content that you are familiar with and that you've heard in a very good light in previous times. Um, and try to remember the context of those previous experiences with the content. And then play it through the speaker that you're evaluating. And listen for the various instruments, vocals, different nuances and details. Sometimes I'll point out when I'm playing a speaker for folks in an event, a chair creaking in an orchestra, for example. Things that may, not, may or may not be important to the content, but will help you understand the speaker's ability to render everything that's going on in that content. The second thing that I would recommend listening for is something called imaging or sound staging. And that is the speaker's ability in a stereo pair to render a sense of visual, almost 3D points in space that the, that the different um, parts of the content come from. This can happen in a home theater environment, but it's, it's more difficult in a simple stereo environment to render. If they do that, then you get that sense of soundstage and the, the music or the movie no longer sounds as though it's coming from two boxes in front of you, but actually from a three-dimensional sound field that's uh, everywhere in front of you and in the case of a home theater all around you or nowadays with object-based surround sound everywhere in the room, even above and uh, uh, below you. A more subtle characteristic of really great speakers is their neutrality. I might even call this refinement. And what I mean by that is, does a human voice sound like a human voice? Or does it sound like a reproduced human voice? Does uh, an instrument, a, a, a trumpet or a violin or an electric guitar or, or bass, acoustic bass especially is difficult, does it sound like that exact instrument in real life. If it does, the speaker is rendering it with neutrality, with, with a certain refinement. And that refinement is so important to making one feel like one is right there with that live experience, hearing it as the artist or the director or the producer intended. So listen for that crispness, that detail that typically lies in the higher frequencies and make sure that it's being rendered in a believable, convincing way Listen for a level of low frequency response that makes you have that sense of place and impact that is part of the fun of listening to a great music or movie experience. But don't pay short shrift to the mid-range. Mid-range is where probably 80% of all content, especially music, occurs. Yet it's the part that we sort of take for granted unless we listen for it. Human voice mostly occurs in mid-range. Most of the important musical information from instruments occurs in the mid-range, so take some time to make sure it's being rendered in an accurate, believable way. Another and very important part of great performance by a speaker or great listening experience for you is dynamic range. Dynamic range is the speaker's ability to rise to musical or cinematic peaks, meaning it's, it's expressed really as a ratio, and it's the ratio between the quietest moment that the speaker can render and the loudest. And yet I'm not really talking about the speaker's ability to play loud, more its ability to show the contrast between quiet moments and loud moments because that's part of the excitement and fun of listening to music or watching a movie in a great home theater. So those are really the important characteristics that I would look for in evaluating a speaker. And you're gonna find that if you pay attention to all those characteristics, you won't make a mistake. Yet, there is probably no single right answer. 
This is why there are so many speaker companies out in the world because I guess there's a lot of personal tastes and, and I'm not even talking about what a speaker looks like, which is sometimes an important factor for the person making their selection. What I will say is we have some design philosophies at SVS that I think are important to bear in mind as you're making your own evaluations. One of them is that we believe very strongly in accuracy, refinement, imaging or sound staging, clarity and detail, neutrality, all the things that we've talked about that I encourage you to listen for, but we don't want you to have to sacrifice, like many audiophile speaker companies do, wide dynamic range, that excitement, and low frequency extension, good bass, in order to have that. You can have accuracy, you can have refinement, you can have imaging and detail, and you don't have to sacrifice the fun of wide dynamic range and low frequency extension. So don't be afraid to listen for those things. Sometimes I see uh, audiophile speaker companies that sort of insist that you need to sacrifice one in order to get the other. And then sometimes we see the other side of the spectrum. We see speakers that have you know lots of excitement, brassy sound, wide dynamic range, a lot of bass, but but they're not accurate, and so therefore they're not musical and they're not convincing. We want you to have your cake and eat it too. And I guess the, really the final piece in the puzzle is look for speakers that surprise and delight you when price is taken into consideration, because I think that's important. Regardless of the price range you're in, that's your budget, and so you want to make sure that the speaker that you choose surprises and delights you with the level of performance that you get. We hope it's an SVS, but we know it may not be because speakers really, in the end of the day, are a matter of personal preference. But if you take all those characteristics of the sound into consideration when listening and make sure that you're getting that emotional connection, you very likely won't go far wrong.